Michael R. Jackson's Pulitzer Prize winning musical A Strange Loop is making its Boston debut. Here's a quick look behind the scenes at a dress rehearsal. That's why he clings to his silly little white girl, the same one clinging to me. We want to be free, we want to belong, we want it to love a validation. All right, A Strange Loop, it's about a black queer writer writing a musical about a black queer writer writing a musical about a black queer writer. <laughs> it's a story within the story within the story. Uh, you know, I don't know if anybody's confused, but here to sort it out for us is director Maurice Emanuel Parent and Kai Clifton, who plays the main character, Usher. Welcome to you both, Kai. The production is loosely based on Michael R. Jackson's life, and it really touches on a variety of themes, including identity, sexuality, body image, boundaries. Tell us about everything that happens in this musical. Oh, gosh. <laughs> um, this musical is really a roller coaster ride. Um, I've been telling a lot of my close friends that it is a musical about a young man who is trying to write this self-referential show, but within that, he realizes that in order to write this complex character that's similar to himself, he, um, he has to confront his own issues within mm -hmm. his own life in order for that to translate well through his play. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Dorchester. Yes, I'm from Dorchester, Boston, born and raised. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. <laughs> now, Maurice, what does the show's title, A Strange Loop, mean? Sure, and if you can give me a moment, um, you actually show the segment of the show that really brings a tear to my eye because it highlights the uh, cast in such a beautiful way. Mm -hmm. When you're offered to direct something and you get the dream cast, it's almost unbelievable. Okay. That you get. So uh, mm -hmm. the, the, the title we talk about in the play is a reference to the book I Am a Strange Loop by Douglas Hofstetter, and it deals with a lot of things. But the central ish, uh, point is that what we consider our self, our sense of self, is really this collection of the things people have said about us, the, the lessons we've learned, the, mm -hmm. the, the, the messages we receive from our family communities, mm -hmm. even our own thoughts, the good, bad, and the ugly. And actually, engaging those to see if change is really possible mm -hmm. and if those messages serve or if they need to be examined if they're not serving. Mm -hmm. Now, Kai, um, how would you describe the lead character, Usher? Uh, are there any ways that you relate to him personally and in what ways do you not relate to him? Mm -hmm. Usher is quite the complex character. He's very sassy. He's very funny. He's kind of a negative Nancy. Um, but I relate to him so much because he's a young artist. He mm -hmm. he has a story that he feels like deserves to be told. Um, and I feel like we've all been there, whether we're an artist or not. Mm -hmm. um, I There are ways I don't relate to him. Um, he's, he's very negative. Mm -hmm. um, I like to consider myself a positive, pretty mm -hmm. funny person. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, he's learning to love himself um, and We've all been on that journey, we, so I think it's very relatable. We all relatable. have been on that journey. Mm -hmm. Yes, we have. So the other actors in this production represent Usher's thoughts. Mm -hmm. Is there a particular thought that stands out to you or that you think will resonate with the audience? Yes, um, there's two actually. One is Thought One. Um, thought One plays a bunch of roles in the show, but primarily they are more of a positive figure for Usher and like very encouraging and like you can write this story, you can love yourself, keep going, keep trying. And then the other thought is Thought Four, who also plays a bunch of different characters, but primarily plays Usher's mother in the show. And I think that figure will be a character that a lot of people can understand and relate to. Maurice, how does staging a strange loop fit into the mission of the Front Porch Arts Collective. Uh, it's been a gift. It's getting to highlight all these people. Everyone in the cast identifies as part of the African diaspora and putting our stories, our persons, 
hood and, and our narratives on stage for our audiences is key to our mission and staging it, really getting to show the nuance, what it says to me, what it says about the variety and the intersections within the black community. Mm -hmm. And this is one of them. And we know there are infinite more, uh, infinite number of intersections. So staging has been a gift. We get to show this one story, this black queer story that's very clear, unapologetic, and invites people to share their truth as they either relate to what's on stage or are inspired to tell the truth by what is on stage. Now, Maurice, the Strange Loop has received some of the theater highest awards and acclaim. It was recently staged in the West End and will be returning to the U.S. What's unique about the Front Porch Arts Collective and the Speakeasy Stages co-production? Mm -hmm. It's unique. You know, the show is um, so smart and I think the writer, Mark R. Jackson, I, I don't know if he's in Mensa or something, but he, to me, is Mensa level smart. So getting to engage with something that is so um, layered and, and detailed and um, um, nuanced and has such um, a depth of storytelling mm -hmm. for audiences that we know, audiences in this area are smart. They're, they're bold, they like bold storytelling. So collaborating with Speakeasy Stage Company to tell the story to this audience is really unique because you know, I've made my career here and I really believe and love Boston audiences and I know they're ready to take on this play. Shout out to Roxbury. Mm -hmm, okay, right. now I've seen you uh, in acting roles before, but you are now the director. What was it like to make that transition? Number one, I had to direct these folks because they can sing a lot better than I can. <laughs> so there's sometimes when you want to be on the stage and sometimes you realize you're best served off stage and highlighting those <laughs> that are really tearing it up. So it's, um, I like to say I'm an actor director. I feel actors say they can act in anything. I can't direct something unless I'm really motivated to, mm -hmm. to direct and really connected to it. And um, like I said, I, I'm not being facetious where sometimes they will sing and, and tell their truths, the cast, in, with, in the context of these characters and this story. And it brings a tear to my eye to be able to have some part in creating a literal stage, but also a figurative mm -hmm. stage for folks to release their truth in this, in this, in this musical that so many of us share intersections with. You know, so many of us identify as black and queer within the cast. I think everyone does. So it's... Um, being able to, it's Michael R. Jackson's character story, but through our relation to that story, we get to tell our truths and get to stand back behind the table and watch people sing very, very well, mm. <laughs> better than I can. Okay. In this truth is just overwhelming and it's a gift. Um, Kai Maurice made reference to this, but how do you think uh, this musical is gonna help change the narratives uh, around uh, black queer individuals? Mm, I think it's gonna help black queer individuals be kinder to themselves. I think we experience so much with those intersectionalities, and I think something the show does so beautifully is it teaches you to love yourself and to be kind to yourself, but also be kind to others because you never know what someone's going through mm -hmm. when you meet them at face value. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I'm looking forward to seeing it. Maurice Emanuel Perrin and Kai Clifton, thanks for joining us. Thanks for being here today. A Strange Loop is on stage through May 25th at the Calderwood Pavilion at the Boston Center for the Arts. And now in its 65th season, the Alvin Ailey Dance Theater returns to the Celebrity Series of Boston, May 2nd through 5th. And just before the opening, a free public workshop Company dancers will teach sections from Alvin Ailey's signature work that's on May 1st at the Reggie Lewis Track and Athletic Center in Roxbury.